Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. Before we get too deep, we're going to play a few clips, so let's go ahead and get started with the first one. This is the SpaceX launch that took place last year in December 2017. Now, whether this display is simply pyrotechnics or some form of undisclosed technology is beyond the scope of this video. I'm not here to throw fuel on that fire. What I want to point out is that on the same day this was taking place, Japan also conducted a launch of its own. The intended purpose of their launch was purportedly to send sensors and other instruments into the atmosphere that measure certain telemetry and data. Well, hardly 48 hours later, Russia decides to shoot one up into the sky. Just like the US SpaceX launch, the Russia launch was caught by at least half a dozen people from nearly as many angles. Finally, China, the same day as Russia, also decides to hop on the bandwagon and launches remote sensing technology into the atmosphere. The question is why? Yes, the question is indeed why. How many of you do remember the succession of missile launches? From what was it, America, Japan, Russia, China? All within a week of each other. Very strange. And by the way, those missile launches and tests and putting sensors up into the atmosphere, whatever it is they claim they're doing, that has not stopped. Not only has that not stopped, but there's been an increase in false emergency alerts. Let's play the next clip. Where to begin? Where to begin? What's going on? What's going on with the psychological operations? Hawaii sent out that false emergency alert only a month after they started assessing their nuclear warning system, for the first time since the Cold War, no less. Two days following, Japan sent out a similar alert that happened to be a false alarm as well. Now, if you didn't already know, a day before the Hawaiian incident, mainstream news media, as if mere serendipity, were conducting an interview in the very room the button that sent out the panic bell was mistakenly pushed. Absolutely incredible. What's with these mistakes, right? Nine days before the Las Vegas shooting at the Harvest Festival, 11 days from the anniversary of September 11th, Southern California residents received an ominous emergency alert which, according to Cox and Spectrum Cable, was mistakenly transmitted. That's three emergency alerts, all mistakes. Hawaii, Southern California, and Japan. You see what I mean? False emergency alerts. Some of them being missile alerts, some of them being general emergencies. And on top of that, what did we just get? That presidential alert. It gets me wondering if they're getting ready for something, if they know something that we don't. In fact, that's a point I made in a video I put together about the presidential alert. But instead of listening to me, let's watch a clip from Hacking the Headlines. Links as always below. You know, they're all in this hair salon, just minding their own business, doing their thing. And all of a sudden they get an alert on their phone. And it's just like the, um, let me get the quality better here so you can see it. And it's just like the presidential alert that was sent out from FEMA yesterday. And so, yeah, she's sitting there. This woman's sitting here. Let me get the closed captions on. And they get this alert on their phone. And she says, if I can get it, she says, oh, it's just going to be, it's going to be just like Hawaii. Yep. She, here it goes. It says, she says, it's BS. It's a hoax. It's like that time in Hawaii. They're going to text in like a minute with a retraction. Okay, so right there, they're talking about the Hawaii thing again, and it being a complete hoax, a fabricated, a purposeful hoax meant to scare the American public. I She's right, you know, about predictive programming. Remember what I said in the beginning with that Hawaii alert? Now, if you didn't already know, a day before the Hawaiian incident, mainstream news media, as if mere serendipity, were conducting an interview in the very room the button that sent out the panic bell was mistakenly pushed. Absolutely incredible. Kind of crazy. Just anecdotally, Trump wants a more sophisticated space program, a space force. SpaceX has been active lately. The missile launches, false emergency alerts, presidential alerts, the FEMA exercises I mentioned, I think they all have something to loosely do with each other. I really do think we're getting ready to see a real-life horror story play out. Luke 2126 says people will faint from terror, apprehensive of what's coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. This comes right before our Lord and Savior Christ comes onto the scene, but after mass deception. Let me just share a couple of verses within the context of end times deception. Matthew 2424 24 says, For false Christs and false prophets will arrive and show great signs and wonders so as to mislead, if possible, even the elect. 
First Timothy 4, 1 says, But the Spirit explicitly says in latter times some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to deceitful spirits and doctrines of demons. This is important stuff for what's coming up. Second Timothy 4, 3 through 4 says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance with their own desires, and will turn away their ears from truth, and will turn aside to myths. Lastly, I have 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. Let no one in any way deceive you, for it will not come unless the apostasy comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction. Interestingly enough, the New American Horror Story is talking about the coming of the Antichrist. Personally, I believe these deceptions will all be part of our wrestle. Not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I think it's time people start waking up to what's going on. Sometimes the facts, evidence, proof, resources don't always fit into our nuts and bolts understanding of it. Especially where we're going with this next topic, you might not be able to immediately quantify it, immediately reconcile it with everything you know to be true. And while many of us are busy trying to put food on the table, we have mouths to feed, rent to pay, I think there's something going on overhead that intelligence communities, governments, you name it, probably don't want us to know. They want to control the narrative, and I think that's what they're getting ready to do. Media, social media, news outlets, again, you name it. If you notice the tone in regards to something like extraterrestrial biological entities or interdimensionals, it used to be one of ridicule. Now it's almost one of interest. You kind of got to wonder why that is. Are the space programs, SpaceX, governments around the world, intelligence communities gearing up for something that they're not telling us about? Jade Helm, Gotham Shield, Cascadia Rising, all of these disaster preparedness drills, yet the public is hardly ever in on it. I mean, how many of you listening even know what those were? Classified operations aside, there's plenty of tangible evidence that shows that somebody's preparing for something that we aren't being told about. But I can put it another way. If beings start coming from the sky, I'm less inclined to believe they're from distant planets, rather other dimensions from demonic realms. I'm willing to bet there will be no shortage of supernatural or paranormal phenomena. I suspect as our technology grows, it has and will serve as gateways or portals for tangibility in this world. But I think what I'm going to do is make a part two to this video, get more candid and more in depth, and maybe we can get even a little more hypothetical. Have a little fun. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and take care of yourselves.